Hi guys, welcome to the Melanin Gold channel. My name is Penny. Um, yeah, I've been away for a minute. Like a lot of shit has been going on. Like there should be no excuse. Um, I feel much better from the last time I did a video. So, um, I think what the problem with me, I think too much and I have to map things out and make sure everything's perfect, but I think I need to get in the habit of just doing. Stop worrying about being perfect and just do and get in there because I do a lot of editing with these videos and it takes a lot of time. It takes hours for me and I think I need to stop being perfect and just get in there and do it. So right now I'm going to stop being so perfect and just do and I want to do a video real quick and it's going to be awesome. All right. Now I wanted to come to you guys to get it today about the trailer release of the Black Panther movie that's coming out next year in February 2018. And if you have not seen it, where have you been? Have you been living under a rock? It is freaking awesome, okay? And everybody on the internet is going crazy over it. And, you know, I, I was thinking about doing a recap of the trailer, but I think that's kind of an overkill right now. Like, everyone's doing it. So I d decided to come to you guys a little different. Um, when I was watching the trailer, you know, the Black Panther, he's a king of the king of this fake African country called Wakanda. And I noticed that he had an all-female warriors who were working for him as bodyguards. And... As you guys know, um, one of the women who plays his bodyguards, if you saw the trailer, is Lupita Nyong'o. And also, it's that um, the chick from The Walking Dead that plays Michonne. Um, damn, I forget her name. Um, let me look it up real quick. D Dana Gura. All right, she's in here too as one of his bodyguards. And also... Um, um, I don't know if she's in this movie, but um, there's another chick who was in the Captain America Civil War film, and I had no idea who she was um, and who she was to um, the Black Panther character. But I remember in the in the Civil War, she was basically um, about to go toe to toe with the Black Widow. And the, when they came out a building, the Black Widow was in front of like this car waiting for um, the Black Panther to come out. And this woman gets a, in front of Black Widow's face and beautiful dark skinned woman. And she gets in Black Widow's face and says, moved or you will be moved. And I'm like, whoa, who is this chick? And in the trailer, um... King T'Challa, and like, excuse me if I pronounce some names wrong, but King T'Challa, a.k.a. Black Panther, he has um, a group of these warrior women who protect him, and they basically act as his bodyguards, and they are called the Dora Milaje. And let me tell you, these this is a group of beautiful, strong dark skin women and I started to look more into them um for those who don't know um Lupita Nyong'o she's obviously in it she plays one of the Dora Milaje women and she plays the um warrior Nakia um uh, Dane Gura um she plays um one of the Dor Dora Milaje and her name is Okoye and also, um, the woman who was in Captain America Civil War, um, she was also Dora Milaje. And she played, her name is Florence Kasumba, and she plays the um, warrior Ayo. And she's going to be in the Black Panther movie. And they and also have another character played by Letitia Wright. And I'm not sure if she's a part of the Dora Milaje but um, she plays another superhero that's like the female version of the Black Panther. And her character's name is Shuri. So 
you know, they could probably do another spinoff movie with her. That would be kind of cool. Uh, another character is, which I don't think she's part of the Dora Milaje, but um, another character is played by Angela Bassett, and she's named Ramonda. And at first, first I thought it was the character Storm from X Men, but um, cause she has like the long white hair, but it's actually not. She's someone else. So seeing Angela Bassett looking amazing, like she's like twenty years old, would be pretty awesome too. <clears throat> but I'm gonna read something real quick. The Dora Milaje are the personal bodyguards of the Black Panther recruited from every tribe of Wakanda. Um, yeah, so I was um, watching a few other YouTube videos and basically I explained that <clears throat> that in, you know how every um, African country is made up of a group of tribes, so is the Kingdom of Wakanda. And in order to keep peace within the between the tribes, so they don't break out in war, uh, T'Challa had each individual tribe send their best female warrior to protect him as to protect him and be his bodyguards. So, which creates the Dora Milaje. Shay. And I'm going okay. I'm gonna continue reading. In addition with their protective function, they are also a pool of superior Wakandan women. In ancient tribal tradition, the Dora Milaje were assembled as potential queens for an, an unmarried king, maintaining the peace in Wakanda by ensuring that, that every tribe has the opportunity to, opportunity to put forward one of their daughters for the crown. All right. Dora Milaje traditionally speak only in Hausa dialect and only to the king or each other. The practice of employing Dora Malache was discontinued until recent years. Okay, that is kind of a definition of their origin from the Marvel Wikipedia page. Um, yeah. And to me, they're the most interesting part of the movie. Um, and for those who don't know, I know um, I'm not a comic book reader per se, but I know a little bit here and there. I've dated guys who were into comic books. Um, there was, um, how do you guys remember, um, in X-Men, they have Storm. As we all know, Storm was played by Holly Berry and then later on played by Alexandra Ship. And I know, as we all know, Holly Berry, she's biracial, she's light-skinned, and... Alexander Ship, she's light skinned too. And I don't know if she's biracial. And for those who don't know um, or don't remember, um, Alexandra Ship was the girl that was in that really shitty Aaliyah movie that came on um, Lifetime. Um, yeah, and I noticed these, um, when it came to the physical appearance of the Dora Milaje women, um, they stuck to the comic book. Art, you know, cause because all of the warriors in the comic book art I'm looking online are dark skin, and of course in the movie all the women, well it seems in the trailer all the women have darker skin. So, um, so I'm glad they kind of stuck to the comic book art instead of um, cause I know with the you know with the obvious previous one previous X-Men movies, um, Storm, she was lighter complected, and if you look at pictures online of Storm, and I wouldn't be, I, like, I've never read a comic book of X-Men before, but if you look at the artwork, Storm is a very dark-skinned woman, so I'm glad that they stuck with the artwork, and also, um, doing more research, um, I noticed that, like, um, Stan Lee created, like, a, a, kind of a, another group of the top warriors of the Dora Milaje, and it's called Midnight Angels. So, who knows, guys, if this, 
um, whole Black Panther franchise pops off and becomes really successful, they might do a spin-off movie of the Midnight Angels. So, who knows what could come from this, you know? And you know what, um... Stan Lee is the comic book artist that created um, all of Marvel Comics, and he also created Black Panther. So uh, a part of me wonders if Stan Lee um, was inspired by the African female warriors um, that um, have existed throughout history. Like, I know um, of, like, Queen Nzinga and her warrior women, and then you have the Dahomey. Um, the homie Amazon women who were war African women who were warriors, um, and like a whole lot of other African warrior women, and I wonder if he knows of the history and if he if he was inspired by that, because um, that's what it kind of seems to me a little bit. You know, I've never seen <clears throat> such a um a large group of dark skinned women represented in a film like this and all of them are just drop dead gorgeous beautiful women so i can't wait till this movie comes out these group of dark skin um fictional warriors and the women who play them in the movie you know they're not getting um as much of attention as like the male characters so i just wanted to kind of mention them and mention how cool they are and how amazing and they kick ass and they're all gorgeous dark skinned women. Um you know that's all I wanted to talk about today. Hopefully I will do a video very soon. And you guys have a wonderful blessed day and stay gold. Thank you.